medium difficulty gmat problem solving question classify this one as a 650 level question it's a word problem concept tested is work time it is an interesting question because the way you have to frame the equations for this is quite interesting let's get started the first statement is typical work time kind of a statement working together joe and jane can complete an assigned task in 20 days they work together in parallel they finish the task in 20 days we know how to frame this equation we'll assign variables do this this is the easier part because it's a very typical standard one the second statement from this point forward it becomes a little interesting let's check out what it states if joe's worked alone and completed half the work so joe's completes half the work all alone and then jane takes over and completes the second half so this is done this guy gets out and then jane walks in and she completes the second half of the work now they are not working in parallel they are working in series first person finishes half and then the second person takes over in that case they will take 45 days to complete the task how long will joe's alone take to complete the task assume that jane is more efficient than joe's so let's come to this let's assign variables to start with variables i'm going to assign are two one the number of days that joe joe's alone will take to finish the task the number of days that jane alone will take to finish the task joe's alone takes x days jane alone takes y days if joe's takes x days to finish the task in a day joe's will finish 1 upon x of the task jane takes y days to finish the task so in a day jane will finish 1 upon y of the task first statement tells it if they work together they finish the task in 20 days so when they are working together they finish 1 upon 20th of the task in a day so let's frame an equation for this joe's completes 1 upon x of the task in a day jane completes 1 upon y of the task in a day together therefore they going to complete 1 upon x plus 1 upon y is a fraction of work done by them in a day we know the fraction of work done by them in a day equals 1 upon 20 so 1 upon x plus 1 upon y equals 1 upon 20 so this is equation 1 for us quickly get to this equation in a printed form and recap it before we move on to the second statement joe's will complete 1 upon x of the task in a day jane will complete 1 upon y of the task in a day together they will complete 1 upon x plus 1 upon y which we know equals 1 upon 20 so this is equation 1 now let's move on to the second statement they worked alone finished first half and then jane took over and finished second half if they work serially right so first part is joe's second part is jane let's for a moment say joe's takes 50 days to finish the entire task so how long will joe's take to finish half the task half that time it's not 50 we have assigned it a variable we have said joe's takes x days to finish the entire task so joe's is going to complete half the task in x by 2 days this is not the fraction of work this is the number of days that's the difference between the last equation and this in the last equation we frame the equation for the fraction of work done here we are framing the equation for the number of days so joe's takes x by 2 days x upon 2 days half the amount of time to finish half the task jane is going to take half the time that she normally takes to finish the task which is equal to y upon 2 days so this way we know if they work so first x by 2 days joe's works second part y by 2 days jo jane works together if they work this way the amount of time taken to finish the task equals 45 days number of days number of days days so the equation is balanced cross multiply this two so what we'll end up getting is x plus y equals 45 times 2 which is equal to 90 or we'll write x as 90 minus y we'll call this as equation 2 quickly run through this part recap till this point and then move on further to solving the two equations right so joe's will complete half the task in x upon 2 days jane will complete half the task in y upon 2 days together if they work first x by 2 days by joe's and second x y by 2 days by jane they're finishing the task in 45 days so x upon 2 plus y upon 2 equals 45 or x plus y equals 90 x equals 90 minus y so we have equation 1 which is 1 upon x plus 1 upon y equals 1 upon 20 this is equation 1 this is equation 2 let's replace this x in equation 1 as a 90 minus y let's do that so this becomes 1 upon 90 minus y plus 1 upon y equals 1 upon 20 take 90 minus y times y as a common denominator 90 minus y times y so the left hand side numerator is going to be a y plus 90 minus y this is equal to 1 upon 20 these two y gets cancelled we we'll cross multiply it so 90 times 20 equals 1800 this is equal to 90 y minus y square take all terms to the left hand side so equation therefore just draw a line right so this will become y square minus 90 y these two go to the left hand side plus 
is equal to 0. Product is 1800, sum is 90. 60 times 30 equals 1800. So, we will factorize as y square minus 60y minus 30y plus 1800 is equal to 0. So, this becomes y minus 60 times y minus 30 equals 0. So, either y is equal to 60 or y is equal to 30. So, y can take one of these two values. What do we have to find out? We need to find the value of the amount of time taken by Joe's if he works alone. We have assigned a variable of x for it. If y is equal to 60, what is x? x is equal to 90 minus y. When y is a 60, x therefore becomes 90 minus 60 which is equal to 30. If y is a 30, then x is equal to 90 minus 30 which is equal to 60. So, these are the things. So, x is a 30, that is one solution. At that point, y is equal to 60. The second possible solution is x equals 60. At that point, y is equal to 30. What is x? x is the time taken by Joe's. What is y? y is the time taken by Jane. The question mentions Jane is more efficient than Joe's. Someone is more efficient, that person is going to take lesser time. So, y should take the lesser value. So, this is not the answer. This is the answer. So, how long does Jane take? 30 days. What do we have to find out? We actually need to find out how long does Joe's take? Joe's takes 60 days to finish the task if Joe's worked alone. Quickly run through this entire thing in a printed form. Frame this equation. Take in the common denominator as y times 90 minus y. Cross multiplied it. This is a quadratic we ended up. Factorize this quadratic. So, you got two values for y. y is either a 60 or a 30. If y equals 60, Correspondingly, x will be a x is equal to 30. If y is a 30, then x becomes 60. We need Jane to be the more efficient one, which means Jane should take the lesser amount of time. So, y should be a smaller value, x should be a greater value. So, x is equal to 60. The amount of time taken by, number of days taken by Joe's to finish the task is equal to 60. Choice C is the answer. Right. It's a very interesting question because this is not a typical work time kind of an equation. This is a standard work time equation. Before you leave, two things. Sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core. It's one of the most comprehensive online GMAT course. Get started with a free topic, statistics and averages. Build momentum to your GMAT preparation. Subsequently, pay up and unlock the remaining topics. Lastly, subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash vizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for GMAT. You may also choose to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.